chain is the mascot of a Japanese company called Fujiya, which produces candy called Milky. The company's slogan is Milky Tastes Like Mama. Pico-chan is a young girl with chubby cheeks, pigtails, and a red ribbon in her hair. She's always seen with a big smile on her face, licking her lips. According to the urban legend, the real story behind Pico-chan is very disturbing. They say that Pico-chan was modeled on a young girl who died during World War II. The girl was named Pico, and she was six years old. She lived with her mother in a small Japanese village. During the war, there was a tremendous food shortage in Japan. Mother and child were starving, and there was nothing to eat. They had to drink muddy water just to stay alive and gnaw on grass and the roots of trees just to keep their hunger at bay. Pico's mother couldn't bear to see her daughter suffering, so she took a knife, cut off part of her own arm, and offered it to Pico to eat. Pico-chan had never tasted anything so good in her life. Afterwards, she couldn't forget the sweet taste of the mother's flesh. She proceeded to kill her mom and eat her mother's entire body. Consumed by the taste of human flesh, Pico-chan continued life as a cannibal. They say the reason her tongue is out because she's licking her mother's blood off her cheeks. The name of the candy is Milky. But when you rearrange the sounds, it becomes Kill Me. Which were her mother's final words. That's also why the slogan of the company, when translated from Japanese, is Milky tastes like Mama. The Fujiya company also has another mascot named Poho Chan. He's a young, smiling boy who's always wear, who always wears a blue hat. He's said to be Pico Chan's boyfriend. According to the urban legend, Poco was a seven-year-old boy who lived in Pico-chan's neighborhood as to devour her mother. Pico-chan was still hungry she attacked Poco, breaking open his skull in order to eat his brains. Poco was in such pain that he committed suicide by biting off his own tongue and swallowing it. They say that the reason Poco-chan never has, has his tongue out in pictures is because he doesn't have one. And the only reason he always wears a blue hat is to hide his broken skull and exposed brain.